Hey, there you go. You have the whole Phoenix costume going on there. I do. I don't. You can't see a whole lot of it, but you know, there we go. Yes. Very nice. Got my. She obviously doesn't need to type because it's really hard to type in these gloves. <laughs> Really, really, really hard. Um, well, of course, so obviously she, she types by telepathy. Right, or something. She, she's telekinetic. So why the hell did you? Know, right, exactly. I I need to develop that superpower because blah, typing in the spandex gloves not so easy. I have something else for you. Oh God! I have hippos in costumes. What? Because you knew I did. I have a ballerina hippo. What? Not one of the Disney ballerina hippos. This is a different ballerina hippo. <sighs> and then I have a little devil hippo. Sell me your soul. So I have Halloween hippos. I have my, my, my Halloween costume. I'm all set to go. I feel like I'm trapped in a different place wearing this thing. Like my head is not in my head is in a whole other room. One of your horns is kind of flaccid. I know, right? I tried it, to tell you in the channel before, but it probably scrolled by too fast. Yeah, and this thingy on the top, it's it's sort of it's bending steadily to the right. <laughs> the, the channel took care of that. That's what she said for me. So yeah. thanks, guys. Good looking out. All right. Well, shall we? Shall we do the? Uh, the awfulness that we do. Let's do the awfulness that we do. I can't believe. Look, look at us, grown people. We are arguably adults, and look at look at us tonight. It's Halloween, dude. <laughs> and I have to thank Simon. Simon actually bought me this costume. Aww. Um. So, and th this was uh, he bought the costume on, and I, in exchange, I promised to wear it on the air. So, yay! So, very much, Simon. Okay, so each week, Catherine goes on the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff, brings it on back here in a segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And oh, are we starting with a bang? And I probably should rephrase that, but um, a guy who calls himself Mr. Pee Pee. Oh, that's not a good start. Set a goal of masturbating in every Starbucks in New York City. You can listen to this self-described, quote, big fan of Starbucks discusses plans in detail on a podcast and read his results on Twitter. <laughs> This is a job? Like, okay. This is a fucking life goal? Like, I'm going to masturbate in every Starbucks in the city and then podcast about it? That's a thing that do you, you can know, do with your life? Do you know how many Starbucks there are in New York City? A lot, because there was a guy a couple years ago who did a thing where he was going to have a cup of coffee at every Starbucks in New York City in a day. And he, he almost had to be fucking hospitalized. There are 298 yeah. Starbucks. Like, he almost didn't make it, and he almost had to be hospitalized from just, like... Because you can die from water poisoning, can let alone the caffeine, like... I wonder if you could die from jerking off 298 times in a day. I'm sure someone in the channel knows. Oh, oh, burn. <laughs> oh, burn. <laughs> But, I'm just uh, say it. Not by not necessarily from experience. I'm just saying I'm sure one of them knows. <laughs> but just, uh, okay. I've got to rate the bathroom on cleanliness, Mr. PP said on the Glory Hole podcast. Not getting any better at all, the story. And if a person knocked on the door and interrupted me, one of his associates wanted Mr. PP to rate how hot the chicks were in the location, customers and baristas, and how frequently did someone try to open the door when you were trying to jerk off? And lastly, how was the coffee? <laughs> well, that's important. You've got you've to replenish yourself after 
pleasuring yourself. I, but I'm sorry, like one of the ratings is whether or not he was disturbed. You're not supposed to jerk off in the Starbucks. That's why not would what you? For. So that's not a fucking customer accommodation. Like it's not on their customer service survey. Did it did someone disturb you while you were jerking off? I mean this, that's not what the non dairy creamer is. This is this is one of those weirdly specific fetishes. <laughs> Not only, not only is it jerking off in Starbucks, but it's also telling people about it. Yeah, like, it's this weird... And at that point, if you're going to be that much of an exhibitionist about it, why hide in the bathroom? You know? Just... <sighs> Just whip it out with all the hipsters on their laptops and go to town. I, I, they probably wouldn't care. Or they would think it was performance art. Yeah, you know what? It's New York City. People yeah. would be like, Phew. "It happens four times a day on the subway." Show us something we ain't seen before. When you have three dicks, we'll talk. That guy in Times Square has got better technique. <laughs> we were on the subway for New York Comic Con, and we saw there was like a roving mariachi band that works the subway. Yeah, I, I saw the video of that. That that sounds so roving mariachi band. They were fun though. Oh, yes, boy. I said hipsters use Max. I didn't say Mac equals hipster. I said hipsters use Max. They, they have co-opted the brand. They do. I'm a fucking artist. That's why I use a Mac. Um, this Pittsfield, Massachusetts Rite Aid ad groped by sex offender. I missed the word ad in there and I was like, how do you grope a whole drugstore? <laughs> wow. That takes it, it's some dedication. Honestly, yeah. um, a convicted sex offender admitted he kissed and fondled a cardboard cutout of a woman, which was part of a North Street's pharmacy advertising advertising display. Charlie J. Price, fifty seven, oh, pled guilty to a single count of disturbing the peace and was ordered to pay a two hundred dollar fine. Uh, Saturday, Saturday around five p.m., Price, who was allegedly intoxicated, walked into the Rite Aid pharmacy grabbed hold of the sunglasses display, hugged it tightly, then began to lick and kiss the face of the female party on the display. The behavior lasted about a minute, and if you don't appreciate how long a minute is, just count slowly to ten right now. <laughs> this guy, like, it was, it's a cardboard cutout. Like, it's not even... I just made a really obscene gesture, I'm sorry. But it's not <laughs> even... Like, it's not even gonna feel remotely real. Like, it's fucking cardboard, dude. At least go fondle the fucking pillow pets in aisle five. They're gonna be squishy. <laughs> now you're now you're encouraging him to innovative. Go get some duct tape, bring over the, the pillow pets. I'm just but saying, then, if you're gonna get arrested for fondling something in public, at least make it worth it. Cardboard, not worth it. Um, I may succeed on the air. This thing is like choking me. Oh, <laughs> I don't know how Phoenix does it. Um, the behavior lasted about a minute uh, and ended when Price fell to the floor. He eventually got back to his feet and began yelling and screaming. Meanwhile, Price's behavior apparently scared customers. No, who actively tried to get away from the area. Fuck yes, I would. Yeah, there's a guy fondling the cardboard cutout. I'm thinking I probably walk away from that guy. I and then he, you know, we fell down and started kicking and screaming. And this huh. is the point where you never get this drunk. Just don't do it. If you were, if if okay. <sighs> If you, you can get as drunk as you want, just if you're gonna if you need a cardboard cutout to fondle, get one of your own. They well, sell them at the party store for thirty bucks. If well, yeah, okay, but get yourself a cardboard cutout of Barack Obama or Elvira or a fucking Smurf or whatever does it for you, whatever turns you on. See, see, my my some dude in a luchador mask, whatever does it for you. And, you know, do what you gotta do until you soak through the cardboard with your juices. But not in public. See, my, my take on it is, you know, you're knocking them back, you're at the bar, 
the point where you look over at you know the cardboard cutout and say damn that's hot i want a piece of that tonight you <laughs> yeah at that point stop drinking just stop you've had yeah. too much yeah Oh, oh, Florida! Least, you know, you at least want you at least want your your victim to be three dimensional. <laughs> victim, no stamps. Yeah, well, yeah, you could get inflatable or something. You know, exactly. We 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 have Florida now. Someone just said they make out with their monitor to a still of me. Don't do that. Don't don't. You'll only electrocute yourself. Well, then why are we discouraging? <laughs> Sorry. I don't um, want to cause death even to <laughs> even to internet masturbators. I don't want them to die. Um Florida, Tampa, Florida woman attacks dad for not giving her potato salad. You know, my dad makes really goddamn good potato salad and I think if he like put an embargo on it, I'd be pretty pissed. Yeah, but look, look, I might I might be with her. Okay, but look look on the big screen. Look at the picture of this lady. She wants some damn potato salad. Or I have never been that angry over a potato salad. Could Jesus Christ? She is, she pissed. That's I'm going to murder you for your fucking mayonnaise and egg and egg yolks and potatoes. <laughs> egg um, yolks? Ew! No. Mm -hmm. oh, you know, boil the eggs and then take mayonnaise, diced uh, onions, salt, pepper, potatoes. That's it. A Florida woman was arrested after allegedly attacking her father because he wouldn't give her potato salad. Flagler County authorities charged Karen Henry with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Um, Henry became enraged when her 80-year-old fa father told her he could not have any of his potato salad while he was eating dinner. Henry then grabbed a large kitchen knife, threatening her father with it. She waved the knife at him several times. The elderly man... Okay, no. My dad is also 80, and I don't think I would get to cut a bitch angry. Over. Like, I'd be pretty I mad. I'd be like, why the fuck can't I have some potato salad? I don't think I would stab. No! My dad. No, I'm not with her anymore. No, she lost me at the stabbing. Yeah, I mean, when, when, when 80 years old, that's, give me your damn potato salad. No, don't do this. Don't do that. Mm -mm. That's, not, that's not appropriate behavior. For, for fuck's sake, you could go down to the KFC don't that, or the KFC doesn't have potato who has potato salad they do have potato salad but it KFC, sucks it's not the same homemade potato salad is some good shit well the option between KFC potato salad you're not going to get any potato salad in prison for capital murder right, right. Ooh, except sorry. except you know last meal my telekinesis went awry yeah the last meal, they'll give you plenty of potato salad for your last meal. Unless you're in Texas. Well, no, they, they don't, don't do that yeah, anymore in Texas. Now they're like, fuck you, you get the same slop as everybody else. Yeah. But just... Really? Potato salad? I, I, have th I, I can think of many things I would actively harm another person over. Doctor Who? No, actually, no, fuck it. It's, it but not potatoes and mayonnaise. I, I just, I, I can't, t there's nothing, nothing makes... That's not a murder-worthy thing, no. I mean... Potatoes and mayonnaise, it's potatoes and mayonnaise! Like if they were talking fucking Pepsi throwback, like if someone was like, no, Tara, you cannot have Pepsi throwback, I would throw down and cut a bitch. Because that's some good shit. It's <laughs> crack. But, uh, No. Oh, oh God, this next one has pictures. I'm so sorry. Indianapolis, police daycare intruder tried on girls' bikinis. Indianapolis police are looking for a man who was caught on surveillance video breaking into a West Side daycare. And trying on girls' swimsuits. The break in. Like little girls? Yes. In fact, um, there is a picture. I, I will put it on the big screen. 
It's oh my, this this is I a don't thing. See this oh, I see the picture now. That's not no. This, this is a thing that happened. I disbelieve. I, There's no room in real my reality for that thing to have happened. Oh, I I just I have no words for this. First of all, does the child bikini creep you out a little bit? Yeah, really? It always creeps me out a little bit, because I'm like, you know, your kid's like five. Just throw a one-piece on her. Right. She doesn't, need to be, she doesn't need to be sexed up just yet. She honestly doesn't care. She just wants to play in the water. Yeah, like, she doesn't care about showing off her abs or her happy trail or whatever. Like, she, she just wants to go splashing. Yes. So, you know, um, can we, I would, I would be happy if we could just do away with the child bikini altogether. Yeah. Uh, also because of bullshit like this. Yeah. After setting off the alarm, the suspect jumps back over the counter, changes back to his original clothing and leave the business prior to the employees arriving to check the alarm. There were several items disturbed, but employees are unsure if anything had been taken. Well, um, he might not have taken anything, but he sure as hell left his dignity there. Um, he found bathing suits in the bathroom. They were spare bathing suits our children use for sprinkler day. They weren't hard to find. They weren't hidden. I... <sighs> Is this a thing? I... I don't know. How I, hope I hope it's not a common thing. I mean... I'm more comfortable with the guy we had, I don't even know how long ago, who got off on stabbing the exercise balls. Do you remember that guy? Yes, I remember. I remember. Got off on popping the exercise balls. Like, you know what? Pop balloons and balls till you pop your own balls. That's awesome. You do your thing. Leave the kids' bathing suits alone. But how bored are you to break into a daycare? It's not bored. It's fucking sick. But that's not bored. That's has problems. You need a hobby that does not involve children's bikinis. Model trains. <coughs> Get a chia pet. <laughs> chia pets aren't actually a good hobby. I had a chia hippo in college, which should surprise no one. Um, and they, there's not much to do with them, like. You know, there's not much to do, and after, like, a day or two, they start to smell real bad. Like, as soon as that stuff grows in, they reek. Well, no, 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 if you... If you so gave, get, like, sea monkeys or something and build a little civilization like Cartman. If you gave me the option... Okay, look, you can do one of two things. You, you can grow a Chia Pet, or you can try on a child's bikini. Chia Pet! Well, Even, yes, but you're not a total Chester. Even if it's the Mr. T Chia Pet. Yes. But you're not a total Chester. Yeah. Chester Molester here. It, that's what I'm saying. It's not boredom. It's crazy. You're talking to a man wearing a luchador mask on the internet. With one flaccid horn. I know. It's so sad. I'm sorry, Hope. Why? Why you got to bust balls, man? Am I fucking with you? You, you got to bust balls. Why you got to bust Isn't balls? Isn't that why I have this job? Why you got to bust balls? Isn't that why I do this? Because I'm a huge bitch. You sent me this one. Uh oh. Naked driver in quote wings yes. of love, Moscow rampage. A Moscow driver smashed into. 17 cars in the Russian capital Sunday on a drunken rampage while naked behind the wheel of the car. Lady are explaining he was, quote, flying on the wings of love. Police spokesman. I also sent you the YouTube to that song. On the wings of love. Yeah, no, no. A police spokesman said the man was in a state of insobriety behind the wheel of his car. No. Really? And smashed into 13 civilian cars and four police cars. Okay, when you fuck up regular people's cars, the cops are sort of like, eh, whatever. You fuck
fuck up their cars, they're all over you. I don't care where you are in the world. That's a <laughs> universal. They could give a shit about your car. You fuck up their car, you got a problem. Um, let's see. I, yeah, okay. The day I guess this is what Grand Theft Auto looks like in <laughs> Moscow. Like, uh, you uh, get naked and... And he was, like, crying and sobbing as they took him away. Because he's like, my girlfriend doesn't love me. Here, Yeah, here's his, expl- his explanation. The day before, my loved one said she was no longer ready to have a serious relationship, he said. Adding he had gone on the rampage out of frustration as the world seemed to be against him. That's not on the wings of love. On the wings well, of he love. he was trying to win her back with a grand gesture. No, 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 no. No, I think on the wings of love, I'm thinking, I'm happy. And that's a guy smashing cars. Because he's he's got he just got laid, and if you don't think that's possible, you don't know no, guys. No, this is a guy who has seen one too many romantic comedies and thought that he could win her back with some grand gesture of illegality, because that's how those things always end. Some idiot guy does something that in the real world would be creepy and stalkerish, but some girl falls in love and drops trowel. So he'd seen one too many movies. And thought that that's how it would work, and went on a naked crime spree, thinking that she would come running into his arms, and instead he spent the night in the lockup. So he was on the wings of love. He was just also on the wings of booze. Drunk and completely naked. I'm not... Well, okay. you gotta be ready when she falls in love and drops trowel. Yeah, but really, that, that, that's what's baffling me here. Okay. Being upset over the girlfriend, I get. Getting drunk, I get. Even smashing all the cars, I get. I'm with you. I don't agree with it, but I'm with you. It's when he's naked. That's that's where you lose me. Completely. Would it be better if he was in a luchador mask? Honestly, yeah. Oh, okay. Because at least, you know, then I could go, my mind could make the sense. Oh, he's trying to conceal his identity. He's, he's trying to, <laughs> you know, he's trying not to get caught. Even if he wasn't, I could at least console myself with the logic of this. Okay. Again, you know, going back to what I always say with our naked stories, I just want to know how naked happened. I want to know how you got from drinking your, yes. drinking your sorrows away to naked behind the wheel of like at what point did the clothes go away at what point did that happen like because that's the thing that has to happen and generally in several steps you know most people aren't wearing spandex unitards all the time so there's usually more than one step in that process so at some point you'd think a thought process would kick in that i am removing all of my clothes and it's moscow so isn't it like below zero and snowing year round there yeah. I don't know. so you know i just i always just want to know how the naked came to be <laughs> i just want to get these people down in the interrogation room and be like so tell me how you came to be naked and most of the time they'll say i don't know yes you do yes you do know don't tell me i don't know you your pants came off for a reason <laughs> you know you know why you naked. Damn it. <laughs> it's just so it's just so enraging to you. I find that interesting. Is nudity in general that enraging to you? Like No, it's just are not you, Are you a never nude? No, it's just not making sense. You're disturbing my shit, man. Okay, uh Florida. This This had to be Florida. Lake City's Domino Managers charged with torching yes! Papa John's. This one's amazing! Fucking gang wars over pizza. Two managers of a Domino's Pizza restaurant in Lake City have been charged with arson in connection with a fire that gutted a Papa John's pizza location. Late Friday, police said they were still looking for the ignition and ice, the uh, ignition device the men claimed they uh, made but did not use to start the fire and said... The possibly still active device may be lying alongside Interstate 75. Okay. Yeah. They burned down the pizza joint, but the bomb... Without they were, the incendiary device. And that bomb is just somewhere on the interstate, so happy motoring this weekend, people. Right. Like, first of all, what did they use if they abandoned the incendiary device? Yeah. 
they don't know where they put the incendiary device. <laughs> so at any point in time, a section of highway in Florida could blow the fuck off the map. Although, I'm assuming these two brain donors probably couldn't build a working incendiary device, because, come on, they were doing the Jet Sharks thing over fucking pizza. Both of which taste like shit, because I have had both Domino's and Papa John's, yeah. and they're a shit pizza. Yeah. So, you know. Uh, okay. Not the brightest lights on the Christmas tree. Hey, well, here, th th this is even better. That Yeah, because police said the, the motive was that the Domino's location he was managing would see an increase in business if the Papa John's restaurant was put out of business. That's a team player with upper management written all over them. N number one, have they never heard of insurance? Well, yeah, but it's going to take a while for them to rebuild, and in that time, they're going to make a fucking killing. I will say the Cinestics are tasty. <laughs> but I'm a New York girl. I like real pizza. I like big fucking fold them in half slices of pizza. Not, not that wussy. No. That shit doesn't fly with me. You know, it would seem to me that if you want to, to sell more pizza, um, make your pizza less shit would, would seem to be the solution there. Well, yeah, but they don't really have a say over that. They're part of a mass chain. Well, you know, then don't be. Go off on yeah. your own. Innovate. <laughs> you know, work for a company that doesn't make shit pizza. Right. But maybe not start a gang war over your mass produced No. Of all the fucking things. Oh, you like my New York accent? I'm from Long Island. We have good pizza there. The hell, I was in New York. Got off the subway to this one little tiny pizza joint. The pizza there was not fantastic, but it was better than any fucking delivery I'd had. Mm. It was it was not even great pizza. It was just, you know, pizza. But There's a lot of really goddamn good pizza in New York, though. Like, Just do that and st Oh, Jesus Christ, this last story. <laughs> nice segue. I, I, I have... When you see the story, you will understand. Here, I, the, just when you see, just I. This is from Zimbabwe. Yes, I saw this. This was amazing. That's that's what? not the word I would use. I was pretty amazed. Hooker turns into donkey. Court hears. Trixie fucking shape shifting hookers. A man caught having sex with a donkey. Ow. Stunned a court on Monday by claiming the animal was in fact a hooker he pulled from a nightclub. Uh. Because if you're a hooker, <laughs> if you're a sex worker... You're obviously going to want to shapeshift into the sexiest animal possible. That being the super fucking hot donkey. Uh, the guy's name is Sunday. Like, nothing, nothing revs your engine like a donkey. Am I right, Channel? <laughs> the, the guy's name is Sunday Moyo. Not making that up. Um... Moyo was found by police officers on routine patrol performing a sex act on the animal inside his yard just after 4 a.m. The donkey, which had been tied by the neck to a tree, was lying on the ground. Um, he, he, this is what he told the court, quote, Your worship, I only came to know that I was being intimate with a donkey when I got arrested. I had hired a prostitute and paid twenty dollars for the service at downtown nightclub, and I don't know how she then became a donkey. You know, as defenses for bestiality go, and there are none, <laughs> but as attempted defenses for bestiality go, I gotta give this guy an E for effort. Like points for creativity, but stop fucking animals for the love of God, everybody. Everybody in the world, stop fucking animals. Yeah, Lord. They don't want it. They're not that dol that dolphin is not seductively nippling nibbling your arm. 
Um, well, Laura sorry, in the channel. Laura, it, it, no, they're not asking for it. They're animals. Leave them alone. Laura in the channel said, wait, so his argument was that she changed into a donkey and he didn't notice. Yeah. So. Would that well, this were true? He, he did say he only paid $20. $20 yeah. Would you notice on a $20 hooker? Would, would you notice the difference? Just saying. That's. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. They're upset that I brought the dolphin back up. Yeah, uh, they. they... <laughs> oh. But yes, please, everybody stop fucking animals. I just. that That is some creative shit there. It's it's creative. I mean, but on all us, do you think he actually believes this? I think it's possible because we've had some crazy stories out of Africa. D do you think that he was just happily plugging away at a donkey, and the cops go, "Hey, stop fucking that donkey!" And he actually stopped and went, "Donkey, what, what, what? <laughs> what just happened? My penis is in a donkey." I'm shocked. <laughs> I feel like such an ass right now. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Come on, I had to. Oh. I had to. Somebody Dude. has to pick the low fruit. Somebody has to pick the low hanging fruit. Oh. Somebody has to. And that that's me because I can't reach very high in this costume. So Okay, so we got to give him points for the creativity, but you know what? What what would have you know, solved this entire problem? Not sticking your penis in a donkey. That would solve a lot of problems. Problem solved. Yeah. Uh. Generally, not sticking your penis in anything that isn't human and that you didn't buy at a sex shop. Because fine, uh, non sentient devices. You do your thing. You buy a vagina out of a vending machine in Japan. You get yourself a flashlight. You do what you gotta do. As long as it's not sentient. As long as philosophers have never argued over whether it has a soul. Fine. Fuck it to your heart's content. So, um, so what did we you learn? Know. What did we learn tonight? Um... <laughs> We learned don't fuck animals, but we learn that like once every three weeks. Yeah, so yeah. Um, oh my god, someone doesn't know what a fleshlight is? Really? Google that shit. Oh yes, it. please Google the fleshlight. Have fuck fun. Yes. Um, um, we learned that potato salad is amazing, but not worth capital murder. Unless, yeah, unless you're not in Texas, because then you'll get some potato salad. Just that's the hard way of getting potato salad. Yeah. Um, we also learned that shitty pizza is not worth arson. No, 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 no. It's it's. You know, I mean, God. that is not what they mean by brook oven cooked. Yeah, the, the the invisible hand of the market is not holding a lighter. <laughs> I don't know. It might be. Given um, the way the economy is going, but you know. And speaking of the way the economy is going, people have been getting creative with jobs in this economy, but um, one of those jobs is not masturbating in every Starbucks. This is not a good way to earn a living. This is coming from a man on the internet screaming fuck wearing a Luke store mask, telling you that a valid option for making money is not jerking off at the Starbucks. I think I have a little perspective on this. Well, you know what? If he is making money on it, then it is. I just argue that you shouldn't get pissed over whether the um, employees or other patrons interrupt you. Um, because that's not what the Starbucks bathroom is for. Their coffee cannot... I don't, I don't drink coffee, but their coffee can't possibly be that good. Although the Frappuccinos are pretty goddamn good. But I digress. <laughs> that's not what the bathroom is for. So if you it's like want the, a weird a weird Starbucks version of when Harry met Sally that one the diner scene yeah yeah like if you're gonna first of all if you're gonna be an exhibitionist and you want to tell the world that you're jacking off in the Starbucks don't take up the bathroom just whip it out in public if you're gonna be an exhibitionist go hard or go home no pun, <laughs> no pun intended of course yeah 
And if you're going to use the bathroom, you're going to tie up that bathroom for however long it takes you to get the little fireman to shoot. Then don't get pissed off when somebody wants to use it for its intended purpose. <sighs> and uh, uh, finally, I, I think finally we learned that um, there are many things worse than a chia pet, but dressing up in a, in a child's bikini is not one of them. Yeah, no, 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 no. Please, please. You know what? If if you must, just buy your own. Just go to Sears. Tell them yeah, don't go get the loner from the daycare. Yeah, just go to Sears and be like, oh, I have a five-year-old niece. She needs a bathing suit and buy it. And do what you got to do at home. That's all I ask of you people. Do whatever you got to do. Just don't make it anyone else's problem. Right. Right. Just, just you know, your kink is okay. Just keep it in your house. I'm... You know, like, Nash doesn't walk around with his luchador mask on all the time. He saves that for his girlfriend. I see. Now, now Hope is going to gut you, and I'm not going to stop her. <laughs>